I'm back here with another video. Dab on. I had to fix my camera, guys, because this camera and the lighting and everything is acting stupid. And I got my light on, and it's just, I don't know. So, today's video is going to be an updated sneaker collection video. I think the last time you guys seen my sneaker collection video was about a year ago. Um, you guys seen it, and it was um, a try on one where I tried on all the shoes. This one is not too much of a try on. I will not be trying on any shoes because I got too many and I'll get tired. And this video is gonna be broken up in parts because I don't want it to be a long, 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 long video. So it's already gonna be long because I got so many sneakers and I gotta break it up. So we're gonna get straight into it. Not going in any particular order. Um, just gonna show you the shoes I have on my bed um, because like I said, I'm breaking up in parts. So let's get down to it. The first shoe. Um, guys, I'm going to show you guys is my Flu Game 12s. Wore these a couple times. Uh, I wore these a couple weekends ago. Still look brand spanking new. I've wore these plenty of times. I do wear my shoes when I get a chance. Um, these are in a size 7. And I got these from Foot Action. I'm going to try to tell you guys why I got the shoes, but I, sometimes I don't remember. But I did get these um, from foot action i want these off a of raffle so yeah these are the flu game 12s which they shouldn't be called a flu game because he didn't have flu. he didn't have the flu that game he had flu poison so that's shoe number one you guys have seen them shoes i think most of these shoes you probably guys already probably seen the ones that are new i will let you know if they're new or not so bear with me the next shoe is going to be these these are going to be my ones i think these are the bread toe ones so or the, one of them bread toe black toe one of them ones i wear these so much these got to be my favorite pair of shoes in the whole wide world i wear these so much for them for me to wear them they look really good but i wear these so much i wear these in a heartbeat i don't tie them up as you guys can see i just really stick the two shoelaces in the shoe and i rock these so much bro i'm pretty sure you guys probably would get tired of seeing me rock these shoes but i rock these shoes so much i love these shoes so these aren't too bad for me to be used and like i said all my shoes are in a size seven i do buy kids shoes because they're cheaper and i'm not about to pay two three hundred dollars for those shoes yeah so yeah this is the bread toe ones now i got these from finish line the next shoe is going to be my Air Max. These babies. I wore these a couple times. I don't wear them often because they're all white shoes. And I don't do good with white. So, that's that. Um, these are, like I said, the size 7. I got these from... I don't know where I got these from. I don't remember. Kid Fish... What the fuck? <laughs> I got these from Kids for Locker. Um... I seen them and I said I had to have them. Um, I don't really own a lot of Air Maxes, so yeah, I really like the colors, the red, the, the red and the blue. It's a really clean shoe, so I don't wear these a couple times. I don't wear them a lot. They're white shoes. I don't really do good with white shoes. I don't know why I even got these shoes white anyway. So we're gonna keep going. The next shoe is going to be. You guys seen these shoes in uh, playing my sneaker videos. These are my Carmine Sixes. And I haven't worn these. They're yellow as hell. But I bought them used. Um, from, got these from round two. You guys did not know. Y'all know what round two is. Um, round two. These are my first. This is the first. This was on my first trip of going on to round two. And these are these were $90. So. And yes, they do have the Jumpman Air on the back. So... And as you guys know that since the riot, round two is no longer here in Virginia, they destroyed the store. So I don't have nowhere to buy shoes. I have to go online. 
So yeah, that's the shoe. This is, I, this shoe will always be remembered because that's why that's where I bought the shoes from. So going on to the next shoe, I have the Cement Threes. Um, still dead stock. Haven't worn. I bought these probably like a couple weeks after they were they were released, and I haven't like, worn. Um, this was just an impulsive buy because I felt like I needed to buy a pair of sneakers. Um, not really a fan of the threes. I know I'm gonna get a lot of bad comments on it, but not really a fan of the threes. But I got these, so yeah. And I got these in a six and a half. They're kind of tight. I should got them, but this was the only size they had. And I was like, I'm just gonna have to squeeze my foot up in these because I just want a pair of shoes. That, that day, I was just wanted a pair of shoes. I don't care what I bought. I wanted a pair of shoes. So this is what it is. And I do not, the ones I just showed you, these don't have a box. All my boxes are gone. Um, I'm not that type of sneakerhead to keep all my shoes. Well, I'm lying. Some of my shoes are in the box, some of them aren't. Like the older ones, that the ones you guys have already seen, are in a container. If you guys look right there where that Nike box is, that's where the OGs are. These were in there. It's like a, a container for sneakers or whatever. So that's why I keep my sneakers so the next shoe is going to be my taxi 12s these are in a the size seven also got these off ebay because i refuse to play pay like i said i refuse to get on flight club and pay four five hundred thousands of dollars for a pair of shoes that came out years ago so these are the taxi 12s and i forgot how much i paid for them but love these things haven't worn them yet but they came in clutch so these are my taxi 12s now the next couple of shoes i'm gonna show you guys are in boxes because i have shoes over here too if you guys don't know my shoe my not my shoe rack my clothes rack is right here so at the bottom is where some of my shoes are so we're going to keep going these are a pair of nikes and in this is my air max 97s um the color is elemental pink Slash, ele slash elemental rose and I got these in a six and a half and they look like this I don't know why I got these in a six and a half but they're in a six and a half um but I did I have worn these shoes before um once I have worn once since I bought them and they are pretty comfortable for six and a half I have a very thin foot so six and a half really ain't gonna hurt my feet too much but yeah, these are how these look. I just really like the color. I really like Air Max 97s. Like I think I'm gonna get more of these shoes because they come out with some dope colorways. But this right here is mine. These are the only pairs I have. So yeah, six and a half, and I got these from I think Champs. Champs. So yeah, moving on to the next shoe. We're going into another pair of Jordans. And as you guys can see, this is also in the box. And these are a pair of Air Jordan 6s. And these are... These are my Retro Infrared 6s. So, yes. I got these also... This was these were really the last pair. This was really, this was the last purchase I made off round two, before the whole coronavirus and then before all of the um, the riots happened and the stuff, the protests that happened and round two got broken into. So this was the last purchase I made, and I was going to end up going back because I wanted some more shoes, but I got these from round two and I think I paid, I think one something, one twenty, one forty, one of those. This was that I wore these once. You gotta be careful wearing these because dust and all the other stuff gets on them. And if you guys did not, if you guys been rocking me for a long time, you guys know that I had a pair of white infrareds, but I sold them. So that was that. And just in memory for that, that's what that is. Round two. This is my last purchase. So, yeah. And I also got these in a seven. Um, the next shoe is going to be, if you're a sneakerhead, 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 when I show you this box, you already know what it is. Um, OG box. 
another pair of Air Jordans. Um, if you're OG, you know what these are. I got my bread 11s. Um, you guys have seen this in a haul. You've seen these shoes in a haul. These are my bread 11s. And I got these off GOAT. G O A T. GOAT. So, got these off GOAT. And I have worn these one time since I bought them. And these are my grails. Love them. I've been wearing a pair of 11s. I mean, these 11s for a long time. They're very hard to get. Very hard to get. So, I was hyped when I got them. Bread 11s. And then the last shoe I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, I don't want to make this video too long because we're already on 10 minutes. Um, last shoe I'm going to show you guys are the recent shoes that you guys have seen. Which would be my 700s. I recently just got these. Um, and I wanted to show you to you guys. I wanted this to make, you know, all my shoes are pretty heat. I don't have a shoe that, you know, pretty much heat. So, you guys have seen these already. The Yeezy Boost 700s in carbon blue. Just got these, bought these off GOAT, and these are in the size 7. So, yeah. This is in the size 7. And before I release this video, um, you guys will see that in the lookbook, actually. It's actually in the lookbook. I just actually finished filming the lookbook. This is one of the shirts I used for the lookbook. So, yeah, that is part one of the sneaker shoe collection for 2020. It will be broken down in parts because I got too many. And I don't want to do a video. The video will be like three hours long and I'll be sitting here all day with y'all. So, we're going to break it out. This is part one. Um, so, yeah. Also, before I end this video, I would like to thank everyone for 700, not 70, not 7, but 700 subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome bro like i really appreciate you guys so freaking much bro we literally are 700 like we're on the road to 1k like and we're gonna get we're gonna get there like the prog the, pro the progression is, is is growing baby and i love you guys so much bro like, i don't y'all don't understand how much i appreciate you guys for liking commenting um inbox me sometimes sometimes i get inboxes from you guys I really appreciate you guys, man. 700 is a big number. It might not be big to somebody that already got like a million subscribers, but it's big to me because two years ago, you couldn't have told me that I was going to be a YouTuber. Like, like, when I started this back in 2018, I didn't think I was going to be a YouTuber at all. So, I went from five subscribers to 700 within the two years I started YouTube. So, I really, got, really guys, really, really appreciate you guys. I am going to try to... Um, I am going to do a, like a giveaway, a whole celebration video for you guys. I know I have released a couple videos ever since I hit 700 and I have not said anything about it. But you guys, you just don't know. You guys are always appreciated. That's because I always put hearts on you guys' comments, all that. I really appreciate you guys, man, because that's dope. Like, 700 is a lot. So, thank you so much. Make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias. And we're going to keep this thing rolling, man. We are on the road to 1K. And I love you guys.